this team's done incredibly well. If we were full go 100%, it would have actually been easier for us to win the league than to finish second with, with everything that went against us. After leading Lamar to the NCAA tournament in two of the last three seasons, expectations for the 2020 season were higher than ever for Steve Holman and his Cardinals. But after season ending injuries and COVID-19 cases not only depleting Lamar's roster, it cost the Cardinals a shot at back-to-back -back regular season championships. I think on the outside, people look and say, oh, they didn't win it, they finished second. You know, maybe that wasn't a great year, but with everything we've been through, uh, we feel pretty good about what we've done. What they've done thus far is an accomplishment in itself. On Monday, Lamar also had seven total players earn all Southland honors, including Nederland native Madison Ledette as the SLC Midfielder of the Year and Esther Okoronkwo taken home Player of the Year. Yeah, I mean, she's one of the top players in the country and we're fortunate to have her here at Lamar playing for us in the Southland and she just, she's a dominant player. You know, most people game plan around her and double team master and she's gonna find uh, the player that will put the ball in the net. So she's just been great all around. The Cardinals will begin their quest for a third SLC tournament championship in four years tonight as they open their play against Sam Houston. With only one or two subs available for each game, it, it will certainly be a challenge to not only play three games in five days, but to win three games in five days over very good competition. So we're just going to take it one game at a time, hope to stay healthy, and then we'll just survive in advance. In Beaumont, I'm Mike Canizales for 409 Sports.